We embarked on our snow leopard trek on the 24th of October 1994 and flew from Gatwick to Dubai on a Royal Nepal Airlines Airbus. From there we took off at 10am and landing in Kathmandu at 4pm. There was a long queue for immigration amongst all the plague warning signs and leaflets. We had a day's sightseeing in Kathmandu before leaving on a bus journey which was really epic to Besi Sahar which took 9 hours and witnessing a, the aftermath of a couple of horrific fatal crashes. We were the first group to gain access to the area of Na and Fu since the Tibetologist David Snellgrove in the 1950s. Na and Fu are hidden behind the Great Annapurna Range on the Tibetan border, east of Mustang. The landscape is wild and largely uninhabited. And here are some of the oldest Buddhist and Bonpo temples in the whole of the Himalaya. We were on an expedition in search of the elusive snow leopard. Eight pairs of snow leopard have been recorded in this region at the time of the trek. In the villages of Na and Fu, all the animals are herded back into the village each night for protection against the snow leopards. And the week before we were there, apparently eight sheep were killed in an enclosure during the night. The group had a permit for climbing Chulu East at 22,000 feet in the Na Valley. We started on the Annapurna Trail at Bessie Sahar, having five camping areas until reaching Koto, where we had our permits checked before turning off and crossing the river into the restricted area. After reaching Fu, rather than retrace our steps to Na, we took an alternative route over the little known Pangi Pass. From Na, we descended to Manang via the Kang La Pass before eventually flying out of Hamde airstrip. Heading towards the campsite, it's halfway to Fu side. <laughs> Oh. 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 Really, really short, John. The passage way out is just a hole in a brick wall. <laughs> Hello, Gandhi. <laughs> Intrepid explorer Anton. This is the first morning's camp. And What's Bessie Shahar? Bessie Shahar. At the start of the Annapurna Trail. 10 o'clock, we've been walking for a couple of hours and it's very hot, <laughs> very nice. First day's lunch stop. Lunch consisted of a toasted cheese and tomato sandwich, roast potatoes, baked beans and coleslaw followed by a small grapefruit. The butterflies and dragonflies were brilliant. Right 
rose quite late from our pits due to the first night's beer drinking, bonding and banter session with the rest of the group. A typical breakfast would consist of porridge, tea, coffee, chapatis, omelettes or fried eggs. Where are we on route to now, Elizabeth? Barham Dander. Today's dinner. Yeah, this is lunch. It's got um, potato and tuna tomato sauce, fresh spinach, fresh beans and carrots, a little bit of tuna, and a toasted cheese and tomato sandwich. Which is nice. Topped with fleas, of course. Where are we? Uh, Jagat. We're just on the way to the distillery. What's being made here? This is uh, making rachi. Rachi. Yeah, this is the chang in the bottom. Yes. And there's another pot inside. Ow! Is that in Nepalese? There's the rachi. You can see, look. The rachi? Yeah. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the juice, mouth. Yeah, it's very strong. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go on, knock it down. Knock it down in what? You try it in one. <laughs> very good. How yeah. many percent alcohol is it? Hmm? Uh, what percent alcohol is it? 60 percent. 60 percent? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we now? Third night campsite. Third night campsite. And, uh, At Jagat. Jagat. We just had two beers, but the marigolds are very bright. This is our tent here. We're looking up the valley where we're walking tomorrow. Fourth night. The fourth, after the fourth night, it rained yesterday afternoon and the porters were late arriving, so we stayed in this tea house. In individual rooms, it's called the Dorchester. Everybody's writing up their diaries this morning, and also everybody's sneezing. I wonder who the plague carrier is, as we only have one course of antibiotics. En route to Koto. The scenery here is getting very, very fantastic now. Behind me, you can see. Manaslu. Manaslu is the pointed one. To the right of that is Peak 29, and to the right of that is Himal Tuli. What's going on here, Nigel? <laughs> I don't know. Foot, footpath <laughs> renovation. This, this is Pisang Peak here in front of us, and this is where we turn off from the Annapurna circuit. We turn off right up the Narthu Valley. Can you get a, a portaloo with the Annapurna range in the background, is it? Can you just describe where we are? Uh, we're at the turn off. Tomatoes. Looks good. After a quick lunch, we hired some horses, ponies really, and went to the next village and back. It was quite scary, really exciting, especially crossing the swing bridge. This is Lakpa having our permits checked at the police checkpoint before we go over the river into the Narfu Valley. Here we are at the start of the Narfu Valley. One of the horses just fallen over. <laughs> 